Hey, what's up, guys? Tim11 in the building doing some Hobby Japan magazine reviews from 2023. This is a bit of a strange uh, series that I'll be doing. I've got a lot to catch up on, and uh, I get these magazines um, from work, and uh, I couldn't find the newest ones. I should check tomorrow. But this is the new um, series that I'll be doing and uh, hopefully try and get these Hobby Japan magazines on schedule. So they're a bit, they might be out of sync in terms of when they were released. So this is uh, July, I believe. And uh, front cover, maybe it's a new Gundam. Let's have a look, guys. So here... Actually, big shout going out to my friend, uh, Combini Hunter, aka Flow Pump from Instagram. I was lucky enough to meet him at the Medicom main flagship store in Harajuku. I'm going to be making some more content there, hopefully, and uh, he said it was fine for me to shoot in there. So, as you can see, this is one of the coolest things that I saw, actually, at the Medicom uh flagship store was like the uh the big bear bricks that were like done in like japanese artists i think there's some i don't know if it was van gogh monet i think there's some other artists but i know they did a japanese series which is i think one of these ones because this is at the tokyo national museum uh amazing store by the way if you ever come to japan uh, please check it out Again, we've got some more Medicom Bear Brick stuff. This is so cool. Stephen Harrington. He must be some uh, independent artist. But actually, the the main... Oh, the, that's a Dali one there. Dali. Yeah, the Bear Brick place is it's insane, man. It's really cool. And actually, May got a special edition um, uh, figure from Fist of the North Star. Meng have released uh, an Evangelion kit. We get into the front contents here. Five star stories. New paints from Gaia Notes. Uh, for all you Gundam people out here, here we go. Paint. It's kind of always the same almost. I, I always find that these magazines sometimes run out of things to talk about. I mean, you know, they always talk about paints and stuff like that, which is fine. Not money, I'm just saying. Gundam uh, Ariel XVX016. This is one of their builds from the magazine. Big shout going out to the TMD crew that are. Uh, kind of surprised that i'm back doing all this stuff again um not selling but just uh reviewing stuff and talking about model kits and whatnot i'm sure you've all missed me <laughs> custom building here guys like i said these magazines are really good for um giving you ideas on how to do stuff tips and tricks for mechanics so these are custom built stuff and like I said, these magazines at my work just get shoved to the side. Nobody really reads them apart from me. Uh, I just borrow them from work and then uh, I take them back and then I get the new ones. Um, which is pretty cool. I don't have to buy these magazines ever again. Uh, CFP013, Heindry Sturm. From Bandai Spirits, 1,760 yen. I know there's some, uh, there's a lot of new uh, Bandai kits being released from the, the Gundam series. Uh, I want some feedback as well. When I talk about these magazines or when I'm showing you guys, I wonder if I should give like, I don't know, 10 seconds per page, but I'd be here all day because to give you guys a good look at what's going on. Some stuff I will probably skip because it's just not relevant for you guys um, maybe I don't know, but like there's a lot of stuff in here that I I don't personally I'm not interested in. Gundam Aerial Rebuild, one four four scale. 
I know this magazine mainly focuses on Gundam, so I'm just showing you guys what's in this July edition of 2023. Actually, the new version is, um, it's all about Godzilla, which I'll be doing a Godzilla McDonald review very soon, guys. Big shout out to Gary, hope you get well soon. Big shout out to Wayne from England, Lars, all the regulars, Mark, and a few other people. It's been kind of interesting because um, it's a nice little diorama there, battle scene. Big shout going out to Chess Monkey as well. Sam and Lamb from Canada, he won the Gundam World Cup this year, or last year, so he contacted me on, a, on Instagram. Showing how to do a diorama. I like, like the, the dust effect is with some uh, wool. I know a lot of people are interested by seeing these magazines because actually some of the releases in here, they might have already been out. I presume so because it's July. Um, some might be even longer. So even though I'm showing you this old magazine from last year, uh, middle of last year, some of these kits are either out or will be coming out. So it's regardless of this magazine being old, some HG kits here. Um, yeah, some of these kits might be out. And like I said to you guys, I've been so frigging busy. Having three kids is not easy, man. There's no time, and I've got this illustration project that I'm working on. Got a new book yesterday from uh, Urban Owitsk, uh, an illustrator, Polish illustrator living in Japan that does artwork on um, illustrations on Japanese shop fronts, which I'll be doing a book review on that. So the good news is that I'm, I'm just trying to get out and about. Um, RX 7702 by Bandai Spirits, 2530 yen. It's the RGB kind of style from the Origins. Some nice poses here, guys. God, I've got so many kits in, in that I started. I think I started one of these RGB kits many, many years ago. <laughs> the RX 7802 Gundam. Kakuras Dornan's Island version. I want to get the Yokohama version. I think I was talking about that on my, um, my YouTube when I went to the book off store. By the way, big shout going out to all the new subscribers. It's been absolutely crazy. I've been inundated. My channel, obviously, my channel is starting to pick up pace. The GAT 01A1. What's it called? I can't read that. Dagger. Dagger. From Bandai Spirits. 114 scale. Yeah, I've been inundated. I know my channel is kind of crazy because, you know, my, my main passion is modeling kits, but I get more videos on TikTok and more view counts on my ramen videos. <laughs> it's really bizarre. I don't understand it. It's so weird. But anyway... Uh, I will continue on and try and rebuild the channel, rebuild my Facebook group. ZGMF X12D Gundam Astra Outframe D. Another kit by Bandam Spirits. Uh, 1100 scales. Another MG Master Grade kit here. Yeah, there's so much I have to talk about. I don't want to kill this video with my own personal stuff. But yeah, I mean, a lot's gone on. But so many ideas for video content that it's, um, it's, I would say, very, very um, overwhelming, to say the least, to be fair. Um, and I have a lot of ideas for this year and obviously we've got uh money sampo as well my japanese friend my um the guy that i stream with wow cool gundam heavy arms custom i love the heavy arms it's from gundam wing it's a newer version more detailed 
one of the one of my favorite Gundam kits or Gundam types out there. I know this has been featured quite a lot. Um, Zaku's custom building, modding. Like I said, you know, like you you guys out there buy modeling books, and this is a magazine. But for a magazine, it's got some really cool hacks and tricks and tips in here. So it's just worth the price for that. Because these magazines are not super expensive, really. And I think you definitely get your money's worth in terms of content. My issue is that I won't mention names, but there's a few people that have released certain books on how-tos that I think are just, one, pointless, two, expensive to buy. When you can get this magazine for like 1,500 yen, I think. And there's just so much content in here. It's just way better to buy the magazine, I think. Unless you're specifically looking at a certain um, skill set or whatever, a certain genre. But I mean, this has got everything, man, you need. So many cool uh, gun down, gunpla new item information, cool. Katakawa. CD clips, metal builds. It's kind of interesting going back to Akihabara at Christmas. It's kind of like reignited my uh, my obsession with toys and otaku life. Anyway, let me flick through. Oh, by the way, like in these magazines, you get a nice little poster as well. Put that on your wall. You know, Gundam fix figuration. Some nice pink and white color scheme there. Car signature. I'm not sure how this video will turn out because I'm gonna have to. Uh, every time I use my uh, desk lamp, it puts uh, like a, a massive glare on the pages. So I've actually this video that i'm shooting now is a little bit dark but i'm gonna enhance it on that iMovie it's a beautiful kit there man get into the busts got some figures japanese schoolgirls with guns <laughs> knives swords i'm not sure what that is uh what the hell is this gundam military generation it's like a bit of a custom build on this Jeep somebody's built. 10,000 yen, this kit, I think. I don't know if it's a kit or if it's been um, modded or not. I don't know. I have no idea, but it's showing you the process is still weathering and how he built it, top cut, blah, 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 blah. It's really nice. Again, there's, these skills, even though it's for this kit, you can use on other kits, so, you know. Looks like the final shots. Like this, this stuff is, I'll have to skip by. It's not really uh, not interesting. Moderoid, Mazenga, Metal Bill Dragon Scale. Wow, that's a big old FD kit. What? That is pretty dark, man. <laughs> what is that? It's from the, like, the scope or Atom Dogs items. Cool. So this would have been maybe before Wonderfest. I think the next, I think the next magazine I have a, I think could be Wonderfest. Votoms, Shogukan modeling project. Well, that's a big old thing. Comic there. LED Mirage V. Is it Kotobuki that made this kit? Can't remember. Side stories. Uh, Byakuichi local battle inspection. 
It's a Bandai Spirits kit. Just going on another bit of information as well. Uh, somebody that I used to supply to in the UK contacted me, I think two days ago, was asking me about the Bandai Star Wars kits. And he's asked me, are you still selling, Darren? Can you still get them? Uh, uh, well, no, I'm not really selling anymore. And uh, in terms of getting them, I don't think there's any stock anymore in Japan. The Bandai Star Wars kits are basically gone, guys. Because literally in any shop you go to in Japan right now, you can, you'll can you barely find more than five kits in a shop. No word of a lie. So he told me that he's getting his kits from the US, but they're expensive. I mean, fuck, man. I mean, without talking shit about this guy, I mean, he, to be honest, he did pay up and he was kind of good with comms and stuff like that and getting payment but it was the whole thing of like adjusting certain prices for tax and crap like that which was a bit sketchy which i didn't like doing but i did it but anyway he's gonna have to bite the bullet and uh, bite from the americans maybe from bluefin i don't know but it seems that the prices are a bit uh, inflated which you know i was selling these kits in 2015 was it 2024 now it's quite a long time ago obviously prices increase taxes increase i don't know what people think nowadays like they expect everything for free or to be you know given away i mean wake up and smell the roses man it's not <laughs> it's not like that anymore fma 04a bandai spirits kind of a new kind of design very smooth and simple and basic it's from the Mazenga projects. Uh, yep, not really my cup of tea, but hey ho. Oh, by the way, man, I was in my local um, modeling shop yesterday, and I was just blown away by all the the frame arm stuff. The frame arm stuff has got so ridiculous, man. I mean, there's some really cool shit. They're getting bigger. There's like, I don't know, there's hundreds of these kits now. I mean, I have a lot of like the first generation of the kits, but now I'm, I was like, well, all these kits, man, they're getting bigger. Even Gillian, big shout out to Scott, Modoroid. Actually, there is a magazine series uh, that's come out it's 3,700 yen, this kit. And that's doing a, is it a bi-weekly? Every two weeks you get like a part of this huge Evangelion kit. But as you know, with the subscription, there's Delong Stay, I can't remember the name. Buy the first issue for 500 yen, the next issue, 2,000. It's like, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Ingram, Pat Labour. There's a really cool Pat Labour Macross custom build that I saw. My friend Liberty sent me the link and I've just been floating around uh, social media, which is pretty cool. So. By the way, these things here, I have one. I bought from Wave. You can buy these at frigging Dicer for 110 yen. These are like, I don't know, 1,000. How much are they? 418 yen. And it's basically literally the same thing, but Obviously, he's got their branding on, you know what I mean? So, it's just, it's basically a watch maker's tool to remove battery covers. That's all it is. Macross. Mega Man. Square Enix products. Cool. Uh, that's a really nice Metroid, man. Square Enix 172 scale plastic kit. Front mission structure arts. Designed by Kyosuke Ozawa. <coughs> I'm in fact of uh, Square Enix. Uh, if I can get my ass together this year and start getting my artwork together, start learning um, some software, I want to apply for the company and maybe, maybe not this year, the year after, and get my portfolio together. Um, well, we should see about that. Some weird horse thing. What the hell's that? Not my cup of tea, but it's beautifully um, 
beautifully um, painted and built. Quite a cool. Apla, I can't pronounce it, Slebnia or something, I don't know. Uh, some weird animals and stuff, a little diorama, cool. <laughs> what the hell is that? Sorry, man, I skipped a page. Yeah, these are pretty interesting. These are like little um, figures that you can buy in a box. And obviously this is homing in on your diorama skills. They're actually pretty cool, man. I love to build some. My kids would love that. Something like that, some little project like that. Awesome. Oh, Volp. Panova. Bye, Bandai. Bandai Spirits knocking these kits out. Where are the Star Wars kits? <coughs> Can't see any. So for you guys that are watching outside of Japan, you you know, you got to remember this. Japan is a very revolving uh, merchandise culture. You know, want something that's in now will be gone and out of fashion in a year or so. And you won't see them. And that's why the prices um get inflated oh there was a guy i forgot his name oh is it called rickus i can't remember it was rickus or not some other guy was telling me about zoids there is a shop in akihabara near the park it's off the uh you know mandareki in akihabara it's one of the side alleys is a park and i remember seeing a shop there that sold like zoids like Man, this is crazy. I've never seen a shop that had so many Zoids in there. Like uh, Zero. High Metal R. Getting into the Macross. Schoolgirl toys, display cases, paints. Frame arms, girls. I was just talking about that. <laughs> this could be a custom builder, probably. I don't know. But yeah, I've got so many of these kits. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Decals, every, every, everything, everything. I've just not built them. Not built them all. <sighs> Mecha girls, cool man. more stuff there I'll let you guys have a have a bit of a look oh, I'm checking stuff at work cool Sorry, that was a bit long. I was just checking an email. Like I said, I'm not going to... I'm sorry. I apologize if I've like, been talking too much, but, you know. Japan Extra. Like I said, you know, some of this stuff like this. Ooh, she got in her mouth. This is Komori Project, Yoichi Komori Official Web. Some like guy that makes horror stuff. What the hell's that? That's pretty mad. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try and do this video in one in one shoot. I don't like to edit. I hate editing. Oh, they got these like Evangelion Beetle things. Ah, oh, that's the um, bike. Is it the bike that I saw in my last video? 112 motorbike, the Bozazuka. 
Cool. Oh, yeah, so, like, this is the new kits that are out or coming out. And I think I saw that. Yeah, that's the kit that I had in my hand. It's so cool. Yeah, so these are all the... Oh, she's Oka Model Show. I get some people asking me, uh, Darren, are you going to go? And Darren, will you go? I think I've so said this on every video that I do. It's so expensive to get down there. It's travel, hotel. It's just... And it's just toys that I see every day in my life. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I know it, I know it's great experience. I know like my friend Massa met um Mig Jimenez there. He was there. But like I said, I just I just can't be asked. Kosan, Kato, Max, who I saw a few weeks ago, new spotter, metal, real structure build. I know Mac have just released the flange kit as well, the flage, whatever it's called. And by the way, for all you Mac lovers, I know Mark will be interested in this. And Frank McBride, if you're out there, I am and I will be selling off all of my MacBooks. Um, but just to, just to tell you guys, they are going to be cheap. And shipping, definitely not cheap. And the shipping that I will do will be EMS only. You know what I mean? So, the Monsters at Mac. Yeah, these things here are going crazy on your auctions price-wise. I don't get the... Uh, yeah, 22,000 yen for these. Nah, not for me. Sorry. There's a plain kit diorama. For you armor guys. Look at how beautiful these armor builds are, man. Russian. I know nothing about World War Two planes from that era, but yeah, this this is a really nice diorama kit for you armor guys. Got a tank. Never get bored of tank kits. And like I said, I am willing to take some requests off people. Like I said about me doing TMD again. Well. If there's anything special that you want, I, I'm not, oh, I want like fucking a, a, a Star Wars kit. I'm like, no. I mean, like, I'm going to be doing special limited shit, like, and charging commission for it, you know? If anybody wants anything special that you cannot buy anywhere else, let me know. And uh, that's the Just DF F2B Fighter. It's a nice little build. Is that like the Red Arrows? Something. Blackburn Buccaneer S2CD plane. Royal Navy, is that British? What the hell's that? I've seen that before. Well, Royal Navy has got to be British, right? It's a nice plane kit. Again, got so many plane kits I've started not finished. It's a, it's a real bad problem, man, that I've got. ADD, what it was called. ADD, yeah, attention deficit disorder. <laughs> That's what all modelers go through, man. So I just look when I go Akibara, I'm kind of happy now that I can just look at stuff and not want to buy stuff apart from some things. Some things. Yeah. I'm letting you guys have a, a quick look. It must be kind of difficult for you guys to watch this video of me doing this. When I'm just, if I flick too fast, then you won't see anything. So I have to give you a few seconds or whatever to, to have a glance. Stuff like this is a bit bland. So I'll just let them, um, you know. You have a gander, Citroen, CV, it's not a CV, is it? Whoa, a lot of 78. Cool, South Africa GP, it's an awesome car, man. The days of John players, eh? It's beautiful F1, F1 car. And I love that colour scheme as well, it's so dope. Black and gold, it's amazing. Um, 
internals of the F1 car. It's so detailed. Look at the detailing now. It's crazy. It's a beautiful kit, man. Rally car, Lancer, Delta. So we're getting near to the latter end of the magazine, guys. Thank God. I've got another magazine to do, so I don't know what I want to talk about, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have this kit, man. Is it by Hasegawa? Yeah, I have this kit. Again, I've actually got this kit that I started, and um, I was going to mod it, which I've got the wheels for, and lower it and everything. Again, another kit that's, you know, hit the old RIP back of the back of the stash cabinet. Featured new products. These are all the new kits that are coming out. Uh, there's too many to mention, but anyway. Military. So, yeah, so all of this now is basically what is coming out. Uh, Hazigawa are really good on their website because they've got a really informative uh, what's coming out page. It's very simple and uh, easy to follow. As you can see, there's so much, so much stuff here. Um, I could, I saw these paints the other day, actually. It's the hobby. HMS. The Gossen Ranger. Oh, I'm into Medicom toys now. Big shout out to Medicom. Old Gold Ultraman, the Joker. Saint Cloth, Time Machine Nations. Actually, yes, for you guys that haven't been to Japan, um, basically the old Gundam Cafe has now been taken over by Time Machine Nations, which is kind of crazy. They seem to be big. What's sad about Akihabara, right? And I'll get into this, is that like the bigger companies are starting to really take over Akihabara. Which, I get it, but I kind of really want to see more used shops. You know, like people selling used toys and figures more versus actual new shops. You know, Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. You've already got Yoda Bashikam, which is great, obviously. Um, soft map. Uh, it's a big cameras there. What else? you still got places like Tam Tam. you got Volk still there. Uh, Seragaya, what is it called, that shop. And a few others. Uh, not, yeah. But I want to see... Like, when I first came to Japan in 2006, I remember near the KFC... There, back then, there was so many little, like, really weird, like, backstreet shops. You know, dusty shops that were like sold really weird shit in there, toys, kits, figures, everything. And you don't see that anymore because Akihabara now is just basically a fucking theme park for tourists. As where prior to that, it was just for Japanese people. Do you know what I mean? And it's just becoming shit now. And it's just full of restaurants. Again, Tamishi Nations are taking over. And it's not, it's lost its appeal, unfortunately. It really has. Um, so, yeah, it's not what it used to be. But anyway, I ran over into your, like figurines and toys, one piece. <coughs> As you saw in my last video, guys, about the figurines and stuff, yeah. Figurines. Figurines, man, are just absolutely insane. Insane hobby. Insane. People that collect them are insane. Um, yesterday, I saw a figure going used uh, 50,000 yen. This huge, like, girl with big tits. <laughs> it's so bizarre. 50,000 yen is 50 bucks, man. Like, these, some of these people take this shit seriously. Like, that, that is actually this. Was it Finnick? That is really fucking nice, that. I would buy that. How much is that? 20,000 yen? See, $200 for this. It's a lot of money, guys. Tooling, figure Japan. Let me just flick past it. Is that, that's an oh, uh, even uh, getting girl. Great. A lot of girls in 
made outfits. Nice. <coughs> Halloween Idol Master. Getting into the more saucy stuff. See, like I said, you know, it's fake grand order. They, <coughs> these companies just pump this stuff out. It's it's unbelievable. I still I can't really believe that people really want to buy this shit anymore. <laughs> you know. Like that is 38,000. You know, it's one fourth scale. That's pretty big, though. You know what I mean? And when you get older, you know, like, you kind of got angry at me. She's like, I don't want to see any of these weird, like, figures with, like, girls with their tits hanging out and shit like that. I, get, I totally get it. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. Like, stuff like this. How much is that? Yeah, 38,000 yen. So that's about 300 some dollars. Yeah, I mean, you know, otaku shit, you know what I mean? Guys that can't get girlfriends buy this kind of stuff. It's, it's very weird and obscene, but hey-ho, we're in Japan. It's just part of the norm out here. But yeah, there's definitely no way that I can buy this kind of stuff. And, you know, I've got kids and, you know, <laughs> just... Yeah, why is it like a dog? What's that, daddy? What the hell? You know, like, come on, man. Yeah, I've just grown out of that shit. If I was young and single, yeah, no. There'd be no doubts that I'd have Ikea Gandalf cabinets full of that shit, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it's uh, some news from about Wonderfest 2023. I think the next magazine could be Wonderfest. Looking by the cover, maybe. Yeah, well, we shall see. Figure news, Smurfs. I'll flick past that, this guy. Transformers, saw some cool Transformers at Yodabashi today. Vinyl toys. Bear bricks, that were in the front. He knew, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I know that, that guy is now. Yeah, the bear bricks are cool. Resident, is that Resident Evil? Yeah, Biohazard, cool. Tomica, as you all know, my son's getting Tomica now. Final Fantasy, Some more robots, and we're getting to the end of the magazine. Some links. Ah, yeah, so, I, don't, I never really look at these back pages, but maybe I should um, have a look at some of these modeling shops because this is what all oh, this is shop news. I should uh, get you carried to Mandariki there, Kyoto Mandariki, and uh, have a read and actually look at these back sections because I've never really spent any time in uh, reading any of this stuff at the back because I'm how to build the wax manatomy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. That works. Oh. Just ads. Display cabinets. Mandareki. Nadoya, I never heard of that shop before. Nemo Ken Magazine, that's a good book, by the way. Godzilla. Descriptions, ads, and uh, that's it, guys. That's the end of the video.